Alright Gators, I'm back. And yes, I started this video off with just the steps to try to cut the video down a little bit. And I was draining the vegetables to go in the bowl. And then I thought, well maybe y'all wanted to see how I drain my, my um, cans. So, you know, when I have the runoff or the extra. And I just use a funnel and drain it directly in the... Alright Gators, I don't know how much of that last video was shot and I'll have to go back and definitely edit that. But um, in that last video, if you, if I can't save it or whatever, or get it into this video, um, I just strained the tuna into my, um, my gray tank. And um, yeah, that's all that was. But I don't know if I'll be able to incorporate it or not. But now I'm getting ready to get the noodles. And I basically cook these noodles with um, steam and hot water. And not so much my butane. I didn't want to use that. I want to use it as less as possible. And this is just going to be easier for me to funnel into the gray tank to do it this way. And that's nothing but corn when I strain them. But this is just way easier for me to get that water off the noodles than um, me trying to do this into that funnel. By the way, I love my strainer. Now what I usually do at this point, all of that hot water would have normally ran over my corn and my peas and my tuna because once I drain all the juice off of that I usually dump it in the strainer and that's how I drain the juice off I just open it up and dump it in the in the strainer but of course in the sink and um, and then when the noodles finish I pour the noodles the all the hot water the noodles and all that over top of the vegetables and just let it sit while I make my um, my cheese sauce and that's all the cooking of the vegetables that I do other than you know marrying them all together but enough of that and let me get rid of that water I was I was stopping the water by holding it down so tight and it was just bubbling back up to me. It's like give me some air. Now this is just my dish towel more. I need a dish towel. Alright, so I'll put that put the top on this. And now I'm still going to do it the way that I usually do it. The noodles will just not have any um, water on them. And I use a fork instead of a spoon so I can get all my tuna out the little ring. And doing, leaving the top, not taking the top all the way off, keeps it on the can. And that way, when I'm finished with it, I can just fold it back into the can. Because I try not to have the lids loose in the trash. Because I don't want it to cut, cut open my bags. Because I, you know, dump my ashtrays in there and stuff. So I don't want any holes in my bags. The cans of tuna are different, and I think, and the vegetables themselves are different. And you can see the difference in the tuna, in the color, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all going in here. I did 
when I get finished mixing it, I will um, put it back on the stove. And I want to mix it because it's, I want to mix it here because it's going to be easier for me to mix it before it gets on the stove than it is me trying to mix it over there on the stove. Now, I'm going to set this to the side for just a second. And put the cheese sauce. And the cheese sauce I'm using is um, the, uh, the pack from here. Now, I did mean to save some of that, um, some of that pasta water because I'm going I'm to add additional cheese and I'm going to put these in a bag later. So these will be used for something else. Um, yeah, I meant to keep that, <clears throat> some of that pasta water because I do have another piece of cheese that I'm going to just add to it just because. And yeah, I want, I want everything because I'm not able to make my cheese sauce. So, I don't know if this is even going to be enough. I'm just hoping it is. <laughs> because when they made this pack of cheese, they didn't add peas and corn and all that to the equation. <laughs> so. And then my finger got in it. Yes. I love cheese. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'm trying to get every bit of it. And I'll probably fast forward through this. If I can edit through this. You know, I'm, I'm learning editing. And if I can, I will. And if I can't, well then, we're having a conversation right now. Some more conversation. And that's why I want to get every drop of this cheese sauce. Alright, set this on the stove. I don't need that right there. It already smells like what it's supposed to taste like, and that's good. Yeah, trying to mix this up. And what I meant to do, but I was talking and wasn't paying attention, was put a can of tuna, the peas, a can of tuna, and the corn to help mix that up a little bit. But like I said, I was talking and wasn't paying attention. But that would have just helped me mix, mix it up even more. And I knew those noodles would be enough because I cooked them with um, the beef and noodles. That was the first time I used them. And they were big. They were thick and big. So now you see why I'm adding that extra cheese because I know that that cheese sauce pack is not going to cover that. But anyway. This isn't hot anymore, so I don't need that. Let me see. No, I'll just use this. It's going to get me a spoon for this part of it. might just bag the rest of it up and um, freeze it and make another one. I mean, 
a lot of you guys won't have that option, of course, because a lot of you don't have refrigerators or, you know, can keep it like I can keep it. So, and that I, I understand. But since I can't keep it that way, I'm going to. And it's taking a lot of it. Yeah, I'm not even going to be able to keep it because it looks like once the cheese sauce heats up, it'll probably... Get over there. It'll probably um, be enough. Well, we can see it's not enough because I like my... Um, Tuna casserole cheesy. Get over there. My food's always trying to run away. I don't know why. It turns out good, so it will, it should want to be a part of something great, or at least good. <laughs> I'm not gonna say every dish I make turns out great, cause some of them hit the trash when anybody see them. I ain't gonna lie. I don't need this though. I can't waste it. Well, I'll just add that other cheese. I'm a waste not want night type of person. Ain't always been that way, but I'm that way now. And I don't know for you folks who've never seen me cook or prepare anything before, especially here in the van. I try to make sure I get as much stuff out of the dishes I possibly can and that's just less paper towels and wipes I have to use when I'm cleaning it. So yeah you'll see me scrape and all the time. I do it all the time. It's what I do. There's no time you won't see me trying to get and besides I pay for everything so I want as much of it as I can get. I was going to use macaroni, I mean, the picture that I took yesterday, because I was making this yesterday for dinner, I think, or day before, I'm not even sure, I think it was the day before, but whenever it was, I was going to make it, I posted a picture on Instagram of a bo the box of macaroni, because that's what I was going to use, and then I was like, mm, I don't know what that's going to taste like, and I don't, and the pasta, the different cuts of pasta taste different, so, um, yeah, I'm going to put this lid back on. It's a lot of it. Um, and then cut it on and cut it down. And I will stir it up. Because I'm only going to let it heat through once. I thought that can of butane that I had was my last one because while it was boiling, it... um. It cut off because I ran out so I reached down there and got the other can and it had next to nothing in it so I was like how am I gonna get this meal cooked with next to nothing for butane so I came up with the idea to um, boil the water um, as quickly as I could put the noodles in it cut cut it off and let it sit let the noodles cook in that hot water and the steam that's trapped under the lid and then um, I let that sit for like I don't know, five, ten minutes, about ten minutes, and then um, I took the top off and I stirred it up really, really good to get the noodles that were stuck out um, of the water in there, make sure everything's in there really good, and then um, I cut it back on and let it boil to the top, you, you see it in the video, until the top was coming off, and I cut it off, I, you know, I always detach the butane when it's not cooking, the butane isn't running but um I pull that up cut it off and I just let it sit again for like 10 minutes maybe 15 minutes um, so that heat and steam could finish cooking it out because you know I don't have the butane like that or I thought I didn't so and I know I had to get that meal cooked with what I had so that's why I did it that way. But I will do it that way, and I suggest you do it that way too from here on out because my noodles got done perfectly. Um, by them being wide noodles, I wanted them to get extra done. So not mushy, but just extra done. I didn't want to. I didn't want them to have a bite at all. So um, letting them sit that extra like five five minutes um, did that for me. 
and um yeah and it doesn't take a lot the white noodles are wide they get big and thick so if it's just one person you only need like a handful or maybe a hand and a half full to make a meal because they get really big but um back to what i was saying with the butane um i knew i had to finish the meal and i didn't feel like i had enough so that's why i cut it off when i was getting ready to strain the vegetables I saw that I had cream style corn instead of um, whole kernel corn so that wasn't gonna work for this meal so I had to go in the pantry and find another can of corn well while I was back there I forgot me and babe bought more butane so I have a full can of butane and on hand so I'm happy about that but yeah, to save your butane, if you're boiling pasta, let the water heat up, then cut it off and cover it. And that steam in that hot water will pretty much, if it's not thick noodles, it should cook spaghetti or especially ramen noodles. That's not even an issue with ramen noodles. But um, angel hair or any thinner pasta, it shouldn't take you no more but 10 minutes active cooking time with your butane. If that but um, I'm letting that heat up and heat through and I'm gonna pause the video and be back I'm gonna reuse this bowl of course because I was going to bag it up after I had finished cooking it because bagging the food just stores better but um, we're gonna go through this pretty quick we're gonna eat probably half of it tonight and um, the other half we'll eat tomorrow for either lunch or dinner. And um, this bowl is just going to work. So I'm just going to heat it through and put it in the bowl. So, yeah, I'll come back with that. Hey, caters, I'm back. Um, I don't know if you can hear the stove in the background. But I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Because scotched cheese tastes terrible and it'll ruin your whole dish unless you scrape it from the very top don't burn your cheese but anyway um a little bit it's four o'clock on the dot right now a little bit gets off in like 30 minutes and dinner will be done but um <clears throat> the reason i'm coming to you guys and, and talking to you guys while that heats up is because um, I wanted to let you know this one pot meal and it, it is a one pot meal because the dish that I used to strain it with is gonna be the dish that holds it I'm not even wiping it out because that makes no sense but anyway uh, this one dish meal was easy just pretty much opening up some cans and boiling some water that's so easy so yeah but it tastes amazing you would think you took all day to make this and it doesn't take really any time at all to put together especially if you don't make your own sauce if that's not what you do and it's not what you do um use the pack because i will be doing this again the yeah i'll use the, the macaroni for something else but anyway it was enough for everything two cans of tuna a can of peas and a can of corn and i think i used maybe two handfuls of those egg noodles these the white ones. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I know the writing is backwards, but anyway, that's that's what I use. About two hands full. Um but yeah, easy, simple, and it tastes amazing. If you like tuna, if you like tuna casserole, you can have tuna casserole in your van. I just can't wait to eat it because I haven't had tuna casserole since I lived in my apartment. So yeah, I'm I'm excited and I'm not gonna even lie um, I paused the video earlier to stir it up so it can you know heat through um, before she gets off and I tasted it and yeah it tastes really good so yeah I'm happy with it um, I'll post a picture at the end of the video to show you it plated it up because I'm not gonna run the video until she gets off from work of course and I'm not gonna pause it and all of that so what I'll do is just stop the video and um, when I make her plate, 
I'll, of course, I'm going to take a picture of it. And I'll just tack it to the end of this video. And I'll post it on Instagram. Alright, Gators. Love you for real. Um, like, subscribe, and comment on if you think you'll try this meal. It, you've seen how easy it was. Tell me if you tried it. And tell me how you liked it. Um, like I said, I didn't want to use the elbow macaroni because I just didn't want it to alter the taste at all. So I had those noodles, so I used them. But yeah, in the comments, let me know um, another dish that I can fix that you want to see if it can be fixed in the van. Yeah, let me know what it is, and I'll try to make it. Alright, Gators. Like, subscribe, comment. Later.